are our biggest fears? I used to think that I feared failure. However, I realized that you always pass failure on your way to success. When trying to reach a goal, uh, those who fear failure will only try to accomplish the minimum because they fear that if they try harder, that they will not reach it. Uh, however, those who have higher expectations and try to reach those expectations may only accomplish this much, but they are still accomplishing more than the people who fear failure. Success and failure are two sides of the same coin. Someone with a fixed mindset believes that uh, people are either good or bad at something based off of their talent. When these kinds of people don't accomplish a goal, they just accept that it happened because uh, they are not good enough to achieve it. Most people with a fixed mindset are not very successful because they usually lack perseverance and determination. I decided to join the cross country team at Heritage after I didn't make it on the cheerleading squad. After all, cross country is a no-cut sport, so I had nothing to lose. I had asthma, which made it difficult for me because every time I tried to increase my speed, I would find it harder to breathe. The first two mile time trial I competed in was a, on a hilly, grassy course on a hot day. I remember my legs not wanting to move. My lungs were burning. And no matter how much I tried to breathe, it never seemed to be enough air for me. Right before the finish line, I had to stop running and throw my hands up above my head to try to avoid having an asthma attack. I just kept thinking about taking deep breaths. At that moment, I also promised myself that I would not stop running in the middle of a race ever again. Because you always pass failure on your way to success. Even though I didn't stop in the middle of a race that I completed in all that year, I was still the slowest runner on the team. The next year, my coach recommended that I get a steroid inhaler. After getting one, I found that I could run longer and faster from breathing better. My race times began to drop and I realized that I was capable of running even faster. Running proved to be a mentally challenging sport. Most people turn their nose up at running because they see it as something that isn't fun. I saw it as a challenge. The most worthwhile experiences in life are usually the hardest. I have found that when I am put into tough situations, I learn the most about myself. This is why I decided to push myself as a runner to see just how far I really could go. During the summer before my junior year, I trained for cross country. I was able to run on varsity. The entire season, I was running in varsity uh, races until the meet right before districts. I dropped down to the running as the eighth runner on my team and couldn't run districts. I was devastated and I felt like I had really let myself down. It was a feeling I never wanted to feel again. After districts, I was still running as an alternate for the team. And the coach decided to have me run regionals because he saw I was working harder than another girl on varsity. I had to pass failure to reach success. I continued working hard and having a positive attitude toward running. My senior year, I dropped my original freshman down, time down by 10 minutes and became the third fastest girl to compete in the 5K here at Heritage. Many times, I have had people call me insane for running as much as I do. Think about the kind of person you want to be. And the same person that gets things done or one who worries about what others think about them to take any risks. Over Free once said that running is the greatest metaphor for life because you get out of it what you put into it. Even though Oprah wasn't some famous runner, there is still truth to what she said. The most improvement comes from hard work. I decided to become a good runner for myself because I realized what I was capable of. 
When I first started running, I didn't do as well because I didn't believe that I could. Changing your mindset only works, doesn't only work in sports, it works in all aspects of life. All great work comes with practice, and failure are only temporary setbacks. You can change your mindset by thinking it through and finding what inspires you to take action. Go out there and join the sport that you've always been interested in joining, or strive for uh, good grades because you have the abilities to be great and accomplish whatever you want to put your mind to. It just takes a little work. If you simply believe you can, then you're already halfway there. I have accomplished a lot by practicing having a growth mindset. Next year, I will be attending a college in Missouri with my tuition completely covered uh, by a variety of scholarships and grants I have earned. Part of my financial aid will be coming from athletic scholarship to run at the collegiate level. I wouldn't have achieved this if I had just given up in the beginning.